Hey everybody, Rob here for Southwest Florida Television. This is going to be my Wednesday morning beach walk up in North Naples, Florida. I'm at the Wiggins Pass at the very north end of Del Nor Wiggins Pass State Park. It is beautiful. It's about 52 degrees now. Pretty much clear skies. A couple little tiny clouds here and there. Going to get up to 70 today. Tide's on its way out. Low tide here at the pass is at 10.15. The water temperature is oh, about 69. The sun is just coming up over the trees here. Absolutely beautiful sunrise. Was it sent in 12 this morning? Got a small flock of terns hanging out on the sandbar here with me. These are least turns. A mix of birds here, actually. Well, beautiful one. Now I get a little sunlight on them there. Gorgeous morning here in paradise. I wish you were here with me. Hit that share button if you're liking what you're seeing. I'm going to take a little stroll down the beach here at Del Norwegans. We were together earlier this morning for a peek at the beach. Some of those early morning colors of daybreak. Don't forget, today Barbara Grove is here with her shell collection. She's down in Area 1, now at the south end of Parking Lot 1 out on the beach. You'll see her all set up with her seashells. She's here to talk shells with you, help you identify some of the things you pick up, share some of her shell collection with you. She loves talking. She'll talk to you about anything. She's a wonderful person, well-traveled, fun to talk to. Barb Grove, the shell lady. She's out here every Wednesday now through mid-April 2024. She's out there from 8 a.m. to 10.30 every Wednesday morning, weather permitting. Come say hi to Barb. Let her know you saw her here on Southwest Florida Television. Let her know you heard about her. She'll enjoy that. You can go back and do some searching. You'll find some videos that I recorded with Barb over the years. Things we see out here in the mornings are incredible, aren't they? Just amazing. Such spectacular views. God is good, isn't he? God is glorious. An amazing artist. The great creator. Huh? Well, I'm going to do one beach walk. I usually do my beach walk in two parts. I think just one part this morning. I recorded a long video this morning just to walk up the beach. That's where I was. If you're wondering what happened to me. 
Every once in a while, I just like to put something out there in a little better quality than the Facebook live feed replays. So you might want to check that out later. Got runny nose. <laughs> It was a bit on the cool side this morning for a Floridian. A lot of little fighting conks out here crawling around. Well, I say that and I can't find one. <laughs> they were back behind me. There's an old cockle shell. Looks like it might have been one that was hung on one of our prayer trees. Wound up out here after the hurricane. Remember our friend Jan? Jan and her cockles. <laughs> Can't look at a cockle shell without thinking about Jan. I don't know what ever happened to Jan. I have not heard from her or Jamie lately. Hope all is well. close to 8 o'clock already. The park should be open by now. They usually open a bit early. Okay, thanks for the stars. This is it for the month, this month's stars. I have not come even close to meeting my star goals for the past four months now on Facebook. So things are getting pretty tough here financially. Tips and stars in either one. <laughs> Remember, the only way I can continue to come out here is through your generosity, your kindness. I appreciate your viewing, and I appreciate your friendship. But unfortunately, i got to pay the bills. Those bills stink. <laughs> I wish I could pay my bills with seashells. I'd be set for life. Heck, y'all would be set for life. I'll send y'all seashells. I'll probably stay live here until I get a low battery warning. I don't know how far down the beach I'll get. It's just so darn beautiful. Yeah, I, I like walking on Vanderbilt Beach, but Del Norwegans is by far my favorite. 
beach in Naples. There's nothing really changed here as far as the status of the park. There's two parking lots open, no facilities other than porta potties. But you got a mile of gorgeous beach to enjoy. Be thankful that that's still here and didn't get washed away. And just be patient. Trust me, nobody wants this park reopened more than Florida State Parks. All the people out there whining and complaining and just being so negative about why it's taken so long here to reopen the park. Cool your jets. Or go find somewhere else to go. Trust me, you don't think this Florida State Parks doesn't want this park reopened? This is a money maker here. You think they're just doing this out of laziness? <laughs> you think they don't want to work for something? I don't get it. Our park manager here, Terrence, huh, is so frustrated. It's just lots of hoops to jump through here. Being a state park, you can't touch anything without permits. You can't touch a piece of poison ivy growing up a tree without a permit. <laughs> it's crazy. But it's going to happen. It's going to be rebuilt. It's going to be really nice. It might not look like what it used to look like, but it's going to be beautiful. It's going to be all new. Think of the positive. Think on the bright side. It's going to be a brand new park. This is the area that got hit the worst up here. Area 5. There's nothing left up here. Nothing. It's just wiped out. The bat, All the structures, bathhouses, pavilion boardwalks, parking lot, parts of the road are gone, the park parts of the parking lot are gone. There's nothing left up here in Area 5. It's terrible. You know, all the utilities were washed out. You know, the electric, the water, and sewer lines were all washed away up here. All the underground. A lot of devastation. The only thing I wish is I wish they'd let me share it with you. Let me give you a tour of what it looks like back there on the main road and you'd understand what's going on. Isn't that beautiful. What about those colors this morning? Were they not incredible? Man, just a a beautiful glow this morning during our daybreak live feed. Were you watching for that this morning? I do have a first light video to share with you later. And of course some photos. What would one of Rob's beach walks be without photos? Boy, this is going to be an ultimate beach day. An ultimate. I'll bet you the parking lot fills up pretty quick today here. The only parking lots one and two. 
and filling up fast on days like this. Our friend Shark Tooth Bill said he found a massive shark's tooth here in the water. A massive shark's tooth. He's been keeping it in his car to show me. Hopefully, I get a picture of that. To share with you later. The sun is just spectacular, isn't it? Got long pants on this morning. I leave the house this morning. I left about five o'clock, and my pants legs are soaking wet from standing out in the water. My weight's pulling my britches down. I have to keep pulling up my pants <laughs> with the wet pant legs. up with these waves. Not much of a breeze here at all this morning. I wish they were here walking the beach with me. One or two of you, maybe.
amazing out here. The beach just keeps on getting bigger as that tide goes out. It's so cool. everybody doing? Everybody hanging in there today? You surviving? Making the best of things? Good morning. I hope these little morning walks make your day a little brighter. I hope it gives you something to look forward to each day. I wish I could be out here every day, but just sometimes I cannot make it. Can't get out of bed. Or I get out of bed, I just can't get moving. For sunset, I just can't find a ride in the evenings. I don't know if we got anybody booked for tomorrow night's sunset cruise with both angles. I'd love to have you on board with us for those Thursday evening cruises. Get to 
to see some fantastic colors from out there in the water. Sometimes you run across some dolphins. You never know what it's going to be like. It's kind of like when I come out here early in the morning, you just don't know what it's going to look like. You just got to be there for the moment. But hey, if you'd like to get on board with us, go to boat naples.com boatnaples.com get their phone number give them a call say hey i want to go out on that sun, that thursday evening sunset cruise with rob and they'll get you all set up boatnaples.com look at all these little ibis wow look at that Got some juveniles mixed in there. The darker colored ones, the ones with the darker feathers, are juvies. Very cool. Very, very cool. We haven't seen a group of ibis that big in a while. I love it. Oh. The juveniles took off. The juvies. What an idiot. <laughs> People just don't think of anything but themselves sometimes. Unbelievable. get a nice little video of those ibis to share with you later. Well, at least we got a peek at them before they got spooked away. out here this morning. I had an awesome walk. I mean, awesome walk this morning. I really am happy about with my walk. I'm <laughs> just happy about being out here this morning. I don't know. I mean, I know. How could you be at the beach and not be happy, right? Well, I guess sometimes you're happier with Maybe it's the little waves. Maybe there's some extra serotonin out here. I don't know. I'm sure there is. Maybe it was Roy. I walked up past there, our area of Roy a couple times this morning. Maybe it was Roy making me feel good this morning. What do you think? Whatever it is, it's wonderful. And I wish you were here. This is what I love. Is this big, giant beach. Look at this. This is what I love. 
yeah, you got to walk up here to enjoy this beach, so what? A walk is good for you. You know what? Come walk on the beach. It's healthier than walking around the mall. Lot two, just down there a little ways to the south. A glorious morning in paradise, my friends. A glorious morning in paradise. Beautiful sun, man. We're right at the north end of the parking lot too now. I'm going to take you down by that water one last time, give you a look up and down the beach, and that's going to be it for my live feeds this morning. Remember, end of the month, I shot for stars to help me reach my goal. I'm at about 25% of my star goal on Facebook this month. I haven't gotten more than 40% of my goal over the past four months. Things are tough, my friends. Things are tough. Tips and stars both way down. Tips right now, greatly appreciated. Greatly appreciated. A little bit of an extra financial burden on our hands right now. If you'd like to send a tip, a thank you, a token of appreciation, you can find a link to my PayPal account in the description of this post. And I do appreciate it. Those of you that are subscribers to my Southwest Florida television page, thank you for making that monthly com commitment. My star senders, those of you that do send stars, thank you. Some of you have been faithful for many years with those stars, tips. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Let's see if I can catch a ride out here for sunset. Hey, until next time, stay safe, stay healthy, and stay strong. Tally ho, my friends, tally ho. For Southwest Florida Television, I'm Rob Stan. May God bless you, your family, your friends, your fur babies, everyone, everything in your life. And God bless our beautiful country. God bless America. Say some prayers for her. She needs your prayers. Tally ho. Tally ho.